Uh, good morning, my beloved students. Today, this is teacher Mustafa, and today I'm joined here with you with my beloved grade four. Today, we're going to have a new spelling lesson. It's called the negative prefixes. The negative prefixes. So mainly, all of those prefixes mean not. Mean not. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're joined here with my grade five, not grade four. I'm, I'm sick. I've been sick like for three weeks right now. Uh, so here, uh, all of those prefixes usually mean not. But Mazen, I have to ask you a question. What are the prefixes? Okay, the prefixes are like uh, this, l, m, n, er, none, un. What are they? So uh, they're negative prefixes. Basically, these are negative prefixes. Yes, what are the prefixes? What is the meaning of prefixes? Prefixes, okay. Prefixes are uh, parts of a word that appear at the beginning of the word. Very good. They are some letters that are added to the beginning of the words, right? Yeah. They change the meaning or not? They, of course, change the meaning. And of course, change the, the meaning. Of the word. Very good. Very. They absolutely change the meaning. Uh, whose turn is it? Whose turn is it? Yeah, Bilal. Yes, Miss. Read, please. Invincible and able No, to not invincible. No. Informal. Read carefully. Invisible. Inv invisible. Invisible. Very good, huh? It is. Uh, you can see someone. He's invisible. Yes, you cannot see someone who is invisible. Very good. Read the example. The invisible gas is uh, the invisible gas is present to some extent in every home. Yes, this invisible gas, which is the oxygen, the nitrogen, the carbon dioxide, is present to some extent in every home. But actually, it's it extent. You know, it is there one hundred percent. Mohanad. Hello, Mister. Hello. Informal, friendly, or unofficial style. Yes. Like when I say, hey, dude, is that formal? Can you go to your boss and tell him, hey, dude? No, of course not. Of course not. The antonym is? For. Huh. Example. And he muted himself. God. Muhammad Ahmad. Yes, mister. Hmm. Next one. Yeah, inactive, not working, improperative. In operative. In operative. Yes, which means it's like not it working. Means not working properly. Very good. Not work. Uh, the antonym. Uh, the antonym is uh, active. And the example is the device remains inactive while the computer started up. While the computer started up. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Also, inactive can sometimes mean sleepy. Like when I say the bear goes into inactive state of hibernation during winter. Okay. Oh, inactive means like he's not active. Or, yes, he's uh, not he's active. He, he, he doesn't move at all. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, who's that? Suleiman? Yeah, Mr. Hmm? In the um In the? In the? In the finale. In the fee. Okay. Indefinite. What is it? Indefinite. 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 Lasting for an unknown or unstated length or time. Of time, very good. Indefinite, which means unknown. Indefinite means? Unknown. Unknown, very good. Huh? The example? They may, 
they may face indefinite detention. Detention, very good. They may face indefinite detention. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Omar Hussam. Yes, Mr. Illiterate. 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 Means? Uh, unable to read or write. Unable to read and write. Very good. The example. His parents were literate. And uh, I think all of us know that. Uh, Very good. His parents were illiterate. Suleiman. 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 Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Hmm? Illegal. Forbidden by law. Illegal drugs are forbidden. Yes. Illegal drugs are forbidden. By the way, and legal drugs are forbidden also. Don't do drugs. Never. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Yahya. Uh, Mr. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Imperfect. Not yes. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, Mr. Imperfect. Not perfect, faulty, or uh, incomplete. Yes. And? Uh, an imperfect uh, grace. Of English. Grasp of English. Very good. An imperfect grasp of English. Very, very good. Uh, Omar, illegal here is, is uh, it's put in a wrong way. Remove it from the sentence, eh? Here. Remove it from the sentence. Drugs are forbidden. That's it. Okay. Uh, Yasin. Mister, there are only two spelling uh, lessons, not three. Just finish. Inappropriate. Whose turn is that? Yasin. Use it from me. Yes. Yasin. Yes. Read the word. An appropriate. Inappropriate. What is it? An appropriate. Very good. Means? Not suitable or proper in the circumstances. Circumstances. In the circumstances. circumstances, very good. The opposite is appropriate. Appropriate, very good. Read the example. There are penalties of penalties. There are penalties. Penalties for appropriate behavior. Very good. Amazing. Go again, Mohammed Samir. Yes, Mister. Huh? Irregular. Irregular means. Uh, contrary to the rules or to that which is normal or established. Means what? If we remove the suffix, the suffix is er. Er means. Uh, not. Not. So not what? Not regular. That's regular it. is something that it's natural. Not natural. Irregular is not regular natural. Regular is something not natural. Yes. Uh, yeah. the example, please. Uh, their involvement in irregular uh, 
Financial de uh, dealings. Yes. Now, if someone can give me something wrong about this sentence. Uh, hmm. It's not capitalized, I guess. Mm, that's another. That's one. There's another one. Here. There is no. There is no. Uh, there is no period in, in the last. Last. Uh huh. No period at the end. That's another thing also, but that's not it also. Hmm. Here it should be they are involved. They are involved. They yeah. are involved. involved. Okay. So that we would have a subject and a verb or a predicate, a correct predicate. Here, Master Am. Hmm. Not here. Ahmed Amjad. He's in the bathroom. Yes, yes, Master. I'm Master. Ah, Master, where were you? Missed the bathroom already? No, I'm here. Okay. I think you missed the bathroom, so you went to check up on it. Put food for it. No. Okay. No. Okay. Uh. Uh. <coughs> uh, okay. Wait a second, Mister. Going up. What is this? Come on. Uh, in impatient. Impatient means what? Uh, the, the, uh, 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 he likes to be quick and uh, he likes to be quick. Very he likes to be patient. quick. He cannot uh, what? Quickly and don't think he cannot what for people? No, no, no. What? He cannot what for people? Wait. Wait for people. Very good. Give me the example, please. Uh, example. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay. She can be impatient with people who do not see uh, uh, things uh, her way. Her way, very good. Who do not see things her way. Very, very good. Ahmed Amjad? <clears throat> yes, mister. Okay, employ. Not having or showing good manners. Good. Uh, antonym polite it could have been impolite to refuse. It would have been impolite to refuse. <clears throat> Mazin. Okay, mister. Um, immobile, not moving or motionless. Yes. Its antonym is mobile. She sat immobile for a long time. Yes, she sat immobile for a long time. Mister, I didn't understand. Mister, by the way, you could uh, change the sentence of the yes, illegal, and you could make it um, drugs are illegal. And yeah, yeah, I removed it. Uh, drugs are illegal. Uh, Ahmed Amjad, what didn't you understand? They are so easy. Yeah, immobile. It's immobile or immobile, or I don't know. Yes, it's not moving. Mobile means moving, like mobile phone, which means the phone that is moving. Got it? So immobile means not mobile or not moving. Got it? Yeah, I understood. Huh. Muhammad Khaled? Yes, mister. Huh? The resistible. Irresistible, very good. Irresistible. Too powerful or convincing to be rested. To be resisted. resisted, very good. Like if you found, uh, if you found like a what? Uh, a big jar of food that has sheep 
that has chicken, that has uh, kofta, that has all sorts of good things, and it's irresistible. You cannot walk away and leave it, right? Yes. Huh? The sentence? The, the antonym is resistible. The, the example, she felt an irresistible urge to urge object. To object. Uh, object. Yes, she wanted to object very much. She wanted to object very much. Oh, very much. A lot. Okay, Omar Hamada. Yes, mister. Huh? Okay, independent. Uh, independent. Uh, didn't. Okay. Very good, independent. But, de but depending, the, me uh, the meaning is, or the definition, is not depending on another. Very good, not depending or on, on another. Very good. Uh, the opposite the is... is Dependent. Dependent. Like you guys. You guys are dependent. You guys are dependent. Uh, dependent. Huh? Okay. The example is, I wanted to remain independent in old age. In old age. Very good. I wanted to become independent in old age. Abdullah Samir, good morning. Finally, you woke <laughs> up. Morning, Mr. Morning, Abdullah. Finally, you woke up. Read the word, please. Immature. Immature. Mature. Yes. Not fully development. Developed. Not fully. Developed. Developed. Like you guys also. Huh? Many? In this moment. Is okay. Then is ma mature. Example: Many of the fish a cat are caught. Caught are in picture. Immature. Ma immature. Immature. Very good. And the opposite is ma mature. Oh, mature. Uh, Mr. Sugar. Okay, Mr. I will say then this word and then there's a word that I didn't understand. Okay. D tell me the word that you didn't understand first. Uh, up, up. Yeah, yes. Uh, no, yeah, no, that, not a word. Uh, it's the example of it. She felt in a irresistible uh, urge. A resistible to, urge uh, to object. She needed to object. Urge is a need. Urge is a need. She needed to object. As a feminist, they always how, object how to anything. She to object. What the meaning of object? Object say no. I will not accept this. Oh, All yeah. feminists do that. <laughs> okay. Huh? It is uh, uh, irresponsible. Irresponsible. Not showing a proper sense of responsibility. Yes. Um, okay. Responsible. Example. It would have been uh, irresponsible. Just to drive home. Uh, right, so home. responsible means not showing. You uh, know, uh, not showing a proper sense of responsibility. Of responsibility, very good. Omar Ahmed Mohsen. Why you choose me the last student? Okay. Wow. Impossible. Not able to occur. Occur, yeah, not say, able to impossible, occur. Not, not able to occur, exist, or be done. Um, um, antonym, antonym, possible. Uh, examples, it was almost impossible to keep up with him. Very good. As he's very fast, so you cannot keep up with him. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Saeed. Uh, the next one. In court. In not in. Incorrect. Not in accordance. Accordance. With 
accordance with fact. Wrong. Wrong. Antonym, correct. 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 The, uh, the example, the doctor gave you incorrect advice. Advice. Very good. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Call it what it Yes, hello, master. Hello. Oh, illogical. Lacking yes. sense or clear sound reasoning. Yes, illogical, which means not logic. It's mean, not, it doesn't make sense. Huh. Okay, master. Uh, the uh, the synonym, which is logical. No. Uh, the opposite sorry. is logical. And, uh, the opposite I said is. Antonym. First, I said synonym, but I said antonym. Yes. Uh, the yes. sentence, an illogical fear of the supernatural. An illogical fear of the supernatural. Yeah, man. I hope it's last one. Yes, mister. Huh? Inexpressive. Not costing a great deal cheap. Yes. The um, Inexpensive is. The antonym. Cheap. Amazing. The antonym is? Uh, it is the same word, mister. No, uh, wrong. Or it's remove in, guys. Remove in. Remove in. I removed it here. See? Remove it. Okay. Uh, the example uh, is a simple and expensive solution. Inexpensive solution. Part. Very good. The simple and the simple and then an inexpensive solution. Very good. Sir, I didn't very, very good. Please, Thank I you didn't so understand. much. Just a minute. Sir. Allow me to thank you for this amazing period. And I'll see you again tomorrow. I love you guys. And I'll see you Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye.